And I want to thank everybody for coming to this great occasion. Um, my name is Simon Agbo, son to Mr. S. O. Agbo, the late uh, man whom my auntie is celebrating his death today. To make it short, my father is um, the first son of his mother, four of them, and uh, my auntie here we're celebrating his uh, death is the last of them four. I, I think my father showed a lot of love to his brothers and sisters, more especially when he lost uh, his elder sister. I could see it in his eye. And uh, they had great love for each other. And seeing my aunt, auntie here always make me remember the kindness of uh, the love of my father, which she is not letting it go. She's like trying to play the part of my father, loving us all like her own children. I mean, it makes me think my father is still alive. It's just that she's a woman. But she's more to, to, the, to the family. I, I appreciate her because when she had the, my father's death, she was like dying herself. But with a lot of courage, we encourage her. And uh, with that courage, she's keeping up till today. I really appreciate all what she has gone through and how she has accepted the loss of our father. It wasn't easy for the last of them to bear. My father lived a life, I would say a respectable life. He died at the age of 86. I mean, like I always call him S.O., which means Stevie Nagbo. At this age, before his death, he was more a friend to me than a father. And we missed him so much. He was, we brought him here to the United States. Uh, he was sick. We brought him here. And uh, when it was so serious, we took him back to Cameroon where he finally gave up after six months. We are here all together today to morning, and I appreciate all your effort and your presence here to support this occasion. I wouldn't say that much, but I just want to thank you all and thank my auntie for always being for, there for us like a father. Thank you all. But we are also celebrating Mama it's not easy for parents to come. Mama is the grandmother of Maureen. And Mama was here when Ma uh, as soon as Ma Maureen had her first child. So Mama has been like our babysitter. All of us pass by and drop children. And she's been so caring. Grandma has been, I mean, she has done a lot. So we are calling on Mr. Cyprian Ate to say a word. Because Mama has been under his room all this time. So, Mr. C. Pray, we know you are a lawyer, sir. We are not in the court of law. Make it short. Ladies and gentlemen, one, welcome once more. Uh, let me start by formally recognizing the presence of the Chief of Abanadu, Chairman of Boki Chief Conference, CEO and President of Moleku Group of Enterprise, Chief Moses Osanleku and the two wives. <laughs> they, they came here last Saturday, so they are just one week old in the United States. Welcome, Chief Moses Osanleku. <laughs> I came to this country six years ago, and a year after Mama came, I think I met Mama in Cameroon like twice, if I remember. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to meet Mr. Agbo. But I met Mama in Boya and in Tabo before I left Cameroon six years ago. And one year after, Mama came. When Mama came to the United States, my first daughter, Coretta, who is dancing now, that's Mama's great grandchild. Coretta was in the hospital. And at that time, I had a job. I was on call 24 hours. I don't have a schedule. I was in school. I was in school and had a job too. The moment Mama came, we shifted that responsibility all to Mama. Mama was there for us. Food will go and give Mama in the hospital. Mama will beg, please, can one of you come and carry me home so that I can take a shower, change, have a change of clothes? This will be trouble. Who is going to pick Mama? Mama will pass the day in the hospital. However, we manage until we scale through that process and Coretta was released from the hospital. I can say we survived thanks to Mama. If not Mama, I don't know how the scenario would have been. So we survived thanks to Mama. And not only after that, um, Maureen, as a younger sister, she's to a mother, all of the kids are Mama's kid, I don't say Mama's great grandkid, they are Mama's kid. My son is Mama's boy's friend. <laughs> my son doesn't know me. She knows my Mama. And in the moment, I'm going to Grandma. I'm going to Grandma. When she comes home, Mama is not there. She starts crying. Even if I'm there, when I ask, I, I'm here. They will ask me, do you give her food? <laughs> okay, so that's Mama's uh, mama boyfriend. And when my daughter Coretta started school, Mama is the only one dropping her and picking her up. But the nature of my job, 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I've gone. And I've been able to keep the job for this length of time, thanks to Mama. If not Mama, I think I should be looking for something else to be doing. But because Mama is there, I'm always there. And Aya is still in school since why? So, however, I don't know how to thank Mama. Because even as you say, American standard, let me buy my car. What is Mama going to do with the car? Even they say, okay, Mama, you've labeled so much for us. Let me struggle to build you a house. Mama has a beautiful house in Tabo, for those of you who know Mama. But I have one thing to offer to Mama. I'm going to offer my Mama love. I'm going to love Mama like my mother. The way I would treat Mama, it's the same way I'm going to treat Mama because there's nothing else I can offer Mama. But Mama has done so well, so wonderful to my family. Thank you very much. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. It's not easy. We thank you because you are there and these people are growing and their love is still burning, which means you are a good woman. We thank you very much. And we're just going to open the floor. Though the floor was open, but we're going to do it officially now so we can have dance, 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 dance. Uh, the young girl of today that is just 25 years old. She's just she's going to be dancing with Mr. Kletus Ayo. So we need to give mommy somebody that is hot so mommy can show us her style. Dr. Ojon Twi is going to be dancing with Sister Rachel Ako. Mr. Lovett Ayoketa is going to be dancing with Miss Celine Ayo. Mr. Eric Ayo. Eric Ayo is going to be dancing with Miss Violet Ewube. And Dr. Asundeb is going to be dancing with, dancing with Auntie Aita, our CWO sisters. Did it? Fire!